Aloha. Welcome back to Star Salvage. My name is Tiki C. Today I would like to modify five more ships for use in the Star Salvage scenario. One harbor vessel, two small vessels, and two capital vessels. I have searched through the most popular blueprints of all time on the Steam Workshop, looking for blueprints that would fit into the salvage theme. For each blueprint, I spawn it in this creative game, take a quick tour of each, remove devices and blocks, damage randomly, replace blocks with destroyed or trust blocks, paint on some dirt, save, and celebrate. Today, I have five more blueprints to convert. The Stingray by Rainy Day, Emerald by Devil Spit, Vasquez by Napalm, Blade Cruiser by Cookie Stealer, and Horizon by Uriolia. Links to all of these blueprints can be found in the video description below. Thank you to all of the authors for their artistic works and their contributions to the community. A special thank you goes out to Know It All DM for the Star Salvage scenario. Whenever we find a ship in Star Salvage, they should look broken and dirty, damaged, missing parts and blocks. We have to modify these ships to fit into the salvage theme of the game. I will do a time-lapse video transforming all of these ships, and then share lessons learned and celebrate. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, this conversion is done. So for those of you new to my channel, let me just briefly explain what I did. Uh, in Star Salvage, when we find a ship, it should be uh, get pretty broken and damaged. So we have the choice of either fixing it up or just breaking it down for parts. For this one, I removed uh, half of the thrusters and I removed the turrets. The turrets aren't found in the game normally. 
So, um, yeah, so the player has a choice to make on what to do with this ship. Some of the blocks were removed and I replaced them with damage blocks and painted some dirt on them. So to fit in with the theme of the game, I'll, I'll do that modification on the blueprint. I also created a hole here going straight through the ship and removed the core. Um, when you find a ship in Star Sawage, you have to put a core in it and claim it. Otherwise, this one is ready to be imported into the game. So what I did is I hit Alt-O, and then I saved the blueprint using a naming standard, SS Junk HV, and then I, the name of the uh, ship. And then the group name is specific to the play field. It will call everything from the Junk HV group randomly. And it will spawn in the game as Junk Hover Vessel. And it will spawn a little bit off the ground, so you'll see it drop to the ground. So this one is ready to go. All right, I'm going to do the similar procedure to the remaining ships. So the next one, here we go. Okay, we're done with the emerald. For this one, I had to remove the warp drive since that's uh, not found on SVs in the game. You have to create them. So I just put a fake uh, truss warp drive there as a placeholder and also placeholders for the thrusters and the weapons removed about half or some or most of the weapons and thrusters in the game. Or I'm sorry, in the uh, blueprint. Uh, for the interior on this one, it has a luxurious interior. Nice little bed and little shades to open for the windows. Very cool design in the interior, so props to the artist. Otherwise, there's just two large holes going from the top down into the ship and some paint or dirt painted on. So this one is ready to be imported into the game. So I just looked at it. I clicked Alt-O and then I named it accordingly, Emerald MK. I make sure that I click on the Save Damage States button and overwrite that blueprint so that uh, when it spawns in the game, the damage blocks, it'll spawn in with damage blocks, if you will. If I don't click on that Save Damage States button, then it won't, uh, it won't save the damage blocks. So this one's done. All right, let's move on to the next one.
Okay, this one has been converted and saved. Uh, again, I remove most of the thrusters and weapons and replace them with hint truss blocks for the player. Cut off this, um, this side of the front nose. Uh, I put a hole right here, right through this cockpit. This cockpit, by the way, is original, very clever. I've seen a lot of designs and I've never seen something, uh, an ex, uh, self-contained cockpit surrounded by a structure, if you will. So that, that's a unique design, very cool. Uh, props to the artist on that one. Uh, let's see here, what else? A little hole in here by the core, a couple of layers. I enjoyed uh, figuring out the combinations of destroy blocks, painted a lot of dirt on all of that. So yeah, um, so this was both in an attack and destroyed and then raiders later removed the thrusters and sold them for scrap or whatever. Anyways, this is ready to go. Um, let me save it again. Alt O, Vasquez, save damage states, overwrite, great. That is good. Next.
and we're done with the blade cruiser uh, props to cookie stealer i like this design very cool all right so i replaced uh some of the guns with truss and the thrusters with truss i shaved off this uh this uh left side of the wing there uh let's see what else i put a hole in the uh the right straight through the cockpit area through the engine bay and out down on the bottom uh, yeah I did a lot of dirt and uh, destroy blocks I should remove that there we go okay so yeah this uh the cockpit kind of reminded me of the Polaris by Mr. Ice Cat and it's, it's kind of sad that I remember that <laughs> anyways so yeah this unique design very cool I like it. I uh, removed the core and I saved it. I had to remove the warp drive and the turrets because uh, we don't find those in the Star Salvage uh, game for the most part. Otherwise, uh, damage all around and it's uh, it's ready to go. So we're done with that one. And then finally, the Horizon. <laughs> And we're done with the horizon. Light damage on this one. A couple holes. One diagonally through the cockpit area here. A second one going straight down, like a railgun shot, straight down. And another railgun shot on the side, straight through. And then a chunk off of the back. Just a just a bit. I didn't really want to mess too much with this custom block work because as a player I know it's it's kind of hard to reconstruct these in Star Salvage when the when it has exotic block work so I I tried to stay away from that just to be respectful. 
for the artist and for the player. So I uh, remove the warp, warp drive, it was right here, and remove the core. It's a nice little, uh, it's a nice little ship. I like it. It kind of reminds me of a video game ship, but not really. Maybe I'm misremembering. Anyways, that is done and saved and ready for the game. And we are done. I've converted five more for a total of 40 blueprints converted. 40. Four zero. That is a lot of Star Salvage blueprints. My god. I gotta take a screenshot of this. Okay. That's insane. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Have a great day.